Good evening to your television viewers. The first edition of Nekchiva News Information Program for October is on air. I am Firoi Zanori. First, let's pay attention to the official chronicle of the last week. On October 3rd, the International Relations Analysis Center and Nakhchivan State University jointly organized an event on organization of Turkic states on the 15th anniversary of Nakhchivan Treaty at Nakhchivan State University. The Central Asia and South Caucasus Freedom of Speech Network Public Union and the State Support Agency for Non-Governmental Organizations of the Republic of Azerbaijan held a conference on the topic Communication Basics of the Modern Turkic World Union and the Gate to the Modern Turkish Union Nakhchivan Agreement. On October 3rd, an event titled Organization of Turkic States on the 15th anniversary of the Treaty of Nakhchivan was held at Nakhchivan State University, jointly organized by the International Relations Analysis Center and Nakhchivan State University. The plenipotential representative of the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan in Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, Fuad Nejafli, the Chairman of the Board of International Relations Analysis Center, Farid Shafiyev, Director of Nakhchivan State University, Elburos Isayev, and the representative of the Secretary General of the Organization of Turkic States, Murad Can Mustafayev, spoke at the very event. A video showing the development and importance of the Union of Turkic States prepared by Nakhchivan Television was watched at the very event. Then the organizers presented symbolic gifts to the plenipotential representative Fuad Nejafli and other participants and took a commemorative photo. The event continued with panel sessions on geopolitical changes in the geography of the Organization of Turkic States, cooperation in the field of security, economic and trade relations, and the cooperation in the field of energy and transport. On October 4th, the opening ceremony of the Kalf Fest was held at the Ajami Serenjaha Culture and Recreation Complex in Nakhchivan under the organization of Small and Medium Business Development Agency. Fuad Nejafli, the plenipotential representative of the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan in Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, Abbas Ismailov, Acting Minister, Deputy Minister of Economy of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, Orhan Mehmedov, Chairman of Board of Directors of Small and Medium Business Development Agency, spoke at the very event. Then there was an introduction to the exhibition and sales fair of Copfest. It was reported that the products and services of more than seven micro and small business entities are displayed at the fair. In addition to the autonomous republic, more than 20 business entities operating in other regions of our country also participate in the very festival. Food and non-food products, handicrafts of artists are sold here. An artistic and entertaining program was held organized within the framework of Copfest. Now let's take a look at the innovations that took place in the political and social life of the Autonomous Republic last week. The Second Republican Scientific Conference dedicated to the 100th anniversary of the Autonomous Republic was held at Nakhchivan State University on the topic Stages of Development in Education, Digitalization and Perspectives. More details in our next news blog. The Central Asia and South Caucasus Freedom of Speech Network Public Union and the State Support Agency for Non-Governmental Organizations of the Republic of Azerbaijan held a conference on the basics of communication of the modern Turkic World Union and the Gate of Modern Turkish Union Nakhchivan Agreement. At the event held at Nakhchivan Youth Center, the chairman of the Central Asia and Youth Caucasus Freedom of Speech Network, Nadir Azari, the deputy of the Ali Majlis of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, Azad Novrozov, the Council General of the Republic of Turkey in Nakhchivan, Aysip Kaya, and the Reserve General of the Turkish Armed Forces, Yücel Karaos, spoke at the very event. At the conference, certificates were presented to the participants for their support in the realization of the very project. A new session on climate change in the legal context was organized at the Asan Service Center. An educational video about the main priorities of COP29, including measures to fighting climate change, was shown at the event. Acting Minister Hussein Seferov 
the Deputy Minister of Justice of Nakhchivan's Republic, Khalil Mustafaev, Minister of Ecology and Natural Resources of Nakhchivan's Republic, spoke at the event. The Second Republican Scientific Conference dedicated to the 100th anniversary of the Autonomous Republic was held at Nakhchivan State University on the topic Stages of Development in Education, Digitalization and Perspectives. Rakhti of Nakhchivan State University, Alburus Isayev, Deputy Minister of Digital Development and Transport of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, Rahid Alekberli, spoke on the concept of leadership in the modern education system. Then, commemorative plagues were presented to the speakers. The conference continued its work with seven panel discussions in five scientific sections face-to-face -face and online. At the end, certificates were presented to the participants of the conference. A conference dedicated to the 29th sessions of the Conference of Parties of the United Nations Framework Convention on the Climate Change was held on the impact of the climate change on health. Health problems caused by the global warming and the ways to eliminate them were discussed at the conference, organized by the ministers of health of the Republic of Azerbaijan and Nakhchivan Republic. In Nakhchivan Republic, 200,000 carp babies were released in the Hedralif Reservoir. The management and staff of the Minister of Ecology and Natural Resources of Nakhchivan Republic, as well as Consul General of Turkey in Nakhchivan, Asip Kaya, other officials and eco-volunteers took part in the event, which was held in order to protect diversity, enrich water bodies and increase fish population. Speaking at the event, Asip Kaya said that the baby carp brought from the Turkey was released into the lake in Shapuz district. He emphasized that such cooperations will further expand the relations between two brotherly countries. In Nakhchivan, city and action was organized under the slogan Safe Road. Experienced experts and trainers gave detailed information to the participants on urban transport, public behavior and traffic rules on the roads, driving cars and other topics. The goal of the project is to increase the knowledge of drivers and pedestrians about traffic rules, to instill in them the habits of safe behavior, to ensure the level of driving culture and traffic safety in the society. According to the preparation plan of Special Combined Arms Army, a tactical training with artillery units was held. High professionalism was demonstrated in the exemplary training, which was held in order to increase the knowledge and skills of the military personnel, as well as to improve the common staff skills in the managing artillery units. At the end of the September of this year, there were 196.30 million cubic meters of water in reservoirs in the Nakhchivan Republic. According to the information provided by the State Water Resources Agency of Nakhchivan Republic, 20.76 million cubic meters of water were supplied to the water users in September. 16,695 hectares of land were irrigated in the exchange for the given water. In September of this year, alternative and renewable energy sources accounted for 35% of the total electricity produced in Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic. Compared to nine months of this year, the share of electricity produced by alternative and renewable energy sources has increased by 20%. So, while the production share of green energy was 35.1% in the nine months of 2023, this figure increased to 53% in the corresponding period of 2024. Disinfection works have been started in the general education and preschool educational institutions operating in the Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic. The goal is to prevent cases of infection and seasonal diseases, viruses, and to increase the effectiveness of the appropriate preventive measures in this field. Disinfection works are carried out by the dozen company on the base of the contract signed with the Minister of Education.
The main stage of art battle competition dedicated to the 100th anniversary of the Nakjuantun's Republic among youths was held. On the deceived day of the competition, organized under the motto, Nakjuan with the brush of youth, 15 youths registered only demonstrated their skills. In the competition organized in Batabat Plateau, Zanjazu National Park, named after Hassan Aliyev, used their pictures embodying the history, culture, and nature of the Ottoman Republic in accordance with the competition conditions. Diplomas and gifts of the ministry were present to the winning youths. Isim television watchers, that was all for October 7. Thanks for watching us. Hoping to see you next week at the same time. Have a good night.